I'll have each of the panelists introduce themselves and, and address this question of why we're doing platooning just to get started. What are the money-saving implications? I know the military is very interested in this. What are the safety implications? Right. That kind of stuff. And there's three primary benefits from platooning. A lot of you here, you care about safety. Uh, that's the biggest benefit. There's fuel savings that Steve pointed out. And there's a third benefit, uh, namely the mobility or the throughput. So in the future, if there's platooning corridors, uh, I think both the people who are actually platooning and also for the people who are deploying these platooning corridors, they're going to see these trucks move through the corridors faster than if they were not platooning. I applaud the, the, the platooning effect to improve the efficiency and safety, but you have to bear in mind that for every one smart truck, every one smart car on the road, how many dumb ones are there out there? So I want you all to picture a three truck platoon. So you have three trucks tailgating each other. We're driving at distances less than 100 feet at 65 miles per hour. All right, you're in the second truck. What can you see? Just the first truck. You're in the third truck. What can you see? Only the second truck. So here's where the vehicle to vehicle communication gives you the look ahead feature that Steve was talking about where you would know what the first guy is doing even when you're in the third truck. We're moving right now into fleet trials. We have fleet testing underway right now with two major fleets, starting with uh, building up our driver training program for them. And we're moving into testing in Texas later this year. We're looking at uh, stepping up those into full commercial operation within those fleets as part of the trial activity and then production deployment during 2018. Uh